Hello, banjo students, Allegheny Jam. Mr. Jones here, and we're in the key of D with a detuning. Never hurts to check those strings before you start. And remember that you got the, that fifth, Miss Emily put out a great post about tuning, but just the fifth fret first string checks the short one. Second fret, second string checks the first one open. Then the fifth fret, we're gonna use this in uh, what we're gonna work on here in a minute. The fifth fret on the third string checks the second string, and then way on down to the seventh fret in the high country. You got that fourth string, seventh fret with the open third. So that sounds good just to practice. And the really good thing about those checkpoints, they're sliding destinations. So keep that in mind. Uh, but let's start out thinking about our left hand for a second, because if you want to play fast and clean and just get a beautiful sound, beautiful music, you want to have your left hand has to be in the proper, uh, you know, uh, proper position. So the best thing to aim for there is your thumb in the back of the neck. You could just try putting your thumb back here and sliding up and down the neck, just kind of like this, you know, you're on a sliding board. You're sliding down a bowling alley or something. Your thumb's right, I'm right in the middle of the back of the neck with my thumb, the, my thumb tip pad or whatever you want to call that. And then I want you to kind of make a, make a, let your hand curl around like that. And just think about bending those fingers in and how you can get up on the top, and, and they're just moving a lot easier and a lot faster, a lot more fluid. Uh, fluidity, you might call it. Don't use that word often, but that's what you want when you play music. You want to be able to move smoothly from one chord or note to another, and then you can play as fast as you like, which is good when you're jamming with people. If they're going fast, you, no problem. Your left hand's in a good position. You're ready to go. So thumb in the back, you can just kind of put it there and wiggle around a little bit. And one thing I do like to show people, too, just kind of notice how much if you put your thumb as a hinge, I'm right around that fifth tuner, letting, just letting it rest in my hand, and my thumb becomes a hinge. Just think about how much you can rotate around to to get different angles for chords, too, okay? That feels kind of good, too. It's a good little stretch to wake up. You almost feel like you're trying to fly with one arm. That's not going to work, but it's going to give you a nice, relaxed left hand. So thumb in the back, and let's learn a little bit of a, a crawdad song, the melody. And what they're going to have a couple of positions we'll work on. The... Uh, the first melodies, really, if you played on one string, would be two, five, five, seven, five, two, and the second string. And then the third string, second fret, and this is where we're going to do something fun, two to five slide. You know, at the slide, you can pick two and five on the, on the third string. So just like you did two, five on the first string, the third string go up to that tuning checkpoint. It's pretty fun. So... One thing we'll do, we'll try it on the first string, all on the first string, you know, except for the last little few notes, and then we'll do a two-string chord and get it that way. So this is going to be a good exercise, and one of the big advantages of the banjo is you can play the same melody a lot of different ways, and you've probably already discovered that a little bit, because you're getting where you can sing the melodies in your head, you know some words, and then you can find them on the banjo just because you're getting good at moving up and down those skating rinks each string. So let's do the first string one time. It's Two, five, five, and seven, five, two. Second string open, third string, two to five. And do a little drone bass. That's the first phrase. Okay, one more time. Here we go, right now. Here we go. Two, five, five, and seven, five, two. Second string, third string slide. And the words of that, we'll do that again. You get a line and I get a pull, honey. You slide twice. Okay, that's the first phrase. Pretty good. Cool. The next phrase is going to be, the starts out the same way. Two, five, five, and seven, five, two. Back to five. Okay. And then we're going to go to a new chord. The A chord it has that same note, the fifth fret. But we're gonna, I'm gonna get you to do a position here. It's one really stretchy position. I think it'll be great for getting that thumb in the back. You're gonna to have to really have the thumb in the back to get this chord. The little finger on the fifth fret, first string, and the first finger uh, has the second fret. So look at my hand. You can kind of see my thumb in the back there. It's not so bad. And, and move around a little bit with the elbow and everything. Get your mouth in the right position. Oh, I got it. That's an A chord. I'm just doing a little, and it's gonna be the first strings and melody note, and then you're just gonna pick your little finger up. So you got the little finger, take it off, and you get the drony and another checkpoint. Cool. So here's the second phrase. You get a line and I get a pole, hey. You stay in the eggs a minute there. Right? Cool. So 
then we get to go to the first phrase again. You get a line in seven, five, two, second string. And here's the funnest part of the song, some people think. This is where you get to get a little bluesy. Maybe you're just waking up, and this will be the phrase you relate to the most. I'm going to get the G chord note, just that third fret G note. And we're going to do a little bluesy phrase on the second string. It's going to be three, two, open, two, three, two, open. Let's try that a few times. I got the third fret on the first string. Three, two, open, two, three, two, open. Right? And that's a, a G bluesy phrase. One more time. Yeah. Then all we got to do to finish the phrase, the whole song off, you have that... Uh, Honey, baby, mine is the words. It's just the second fret D chord, first string. Honey, then you pick that two open, babe, and get an A chord, and the second string on a D chord, mine. And we're gonna put a little bluesy flourish at the end, just for fun. It's gonna be some slidey uh, third fret two, three to two on the third string. I'm picking it on the third string. Slide back to two, open. Slide, open, and the same thing on the low bass. And the crowd goes wild. So here's the whole thing, uh, Crawdad song. And before I do it, I want to mention uh, that uh, chord position. We had that long chord position. Little finger stretch for A, right? And another one I want you to work on is playing that fourth fret, first finger, and the fifth fret, second finger. It could be your third finger. Fingering can vary. It's because you could do the same melody instead of all on one string, two, five, five, you could go that chord, fourth fret, second string, second string first, first, and you can reach a little finger. So just start thinking about that. We're going to do it all on one string right now, but you can do uh, the same melody with two strings instead of one. So we're doing, working our first string more right now. So here we go, one more time through crawdad. Here we go, one, two, three, go. Two, five, five, and seven, five, second string, slide that fifth fret, third string. Two, five, five, seven, five, and the long A chord, open first string, the A. Two, five, five, seven, here's the bluesy phrase, bluesy G, the bluesy G, honey. that third string you get a line and I get a pole long A baby you get a line and I'll get a pole we'll go down to the crawdad hole honey baby mine one last time that second fret you can get the third fret third string and get go to the blues territory all right enjoy the crawdad song great relaxed hand position thumb in the back and y'all have a great time picking the banjo thanks <laughs>